it's the working three days a week because look that's getting towards the four hour week concept um yeah 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 and the reason why i wanted to uh, mention that is because i think some people because of the lack of the mentorship they don't know how to get to the next level i was listening to an entrepreneur recently and he was saying you don't want business it's too hard i don't have time to do anything and in the back of my mind i was thinking you you probably everyone goes through tough phases but you probably not delegated well enough right and so how did you how does that work in terms of like did you hire managers take me through that process fantastic so first and foremost at the age of 25, I met someone who has a business. It was a property business, basically what we do. Uh, so she's my mentor now. Well, she was a mentor. I did the course with that. So she had 30 properties being managed and she was only working 30 minutes a week. Yeah. So she, let's say her business is doing 20K a month, 20 minutes a week. And she had a team of two running the show for her. When you see something like that, it does something to your brain. It's like, okay, I see. So imagine you're making, the business is making 20K a month and you got two people working for you. Let's say you pay them both two grand a month. You're left with 16K. For how much work? 30 minutes a week. And what was that work? It was basically touching base with these two people mm. every day, just getting an update. So when you see that, you start to understand, okay, what I learned about money that you have to work to earn it, maybe that's not the only way, right? So the main thing you need to understand is leverage. Leverage is one of the keys to wealth creation, leverage. And I don't mean leverage as in financial leverage, like get loans and mortgages and all that. I'm talking about leverage the concept itself. So I actually have a book, I think it's here. Here or in the other side, uh, not this one. He's, uh, this is the same author, uh, Rob Moore. Uh, but get, look at this. This is his second book. Yeah. The first book was on leverage. I right recommend leverage. everybody read that. Right leverage. So this is start now, get perfect later. Yeah. How to stop overthinking and pro, uh, you know overthinking. Just take action, man. Just take action, get perfect later. That that you know that book as well is phenomenal. Now leverage is key. So how can somebody have three businesses, for example, uh, and that are running and only work three days a week? Well, in business, something that may be a secret to you, you don't know it yet, is you don't have to be doing the work. It doesn't have to be you doing all of the work. You can pay someone else to do the work. Most people who have a job, they're working for a business. They're being paid the salary by a business. Mm. So the idea is that you leverage other people's time to then create more of your time. But you have to do the initial work yourself. So I had to build the property portfolio to a place where I could afford to pay someone. And then ensure that they not only maintain what we have, but continue growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And now we're at the point where that one person needs more help because they're growing too much. So now we're hiring, we hired another person. And then in January, we're going to hire another person and it just keeps on growing like that. So that's one type of leverage, which is people. On the coaching side, for example, we leveraging technology. So I, uh, when somebody new joins my program, they don't need me there to speak to them and teach them the steps one by one. Everything is in module, pre-recorded video modules. If they need me, they can contact me. No problem. That's the only time input I have to have when they need one-to-one -one help from me and I'm available all day. I have a group coaching call every Sunday, every Sunday morning. So tomorrow morning I don't come on zoom and do. So basically my only time input has become that Sunday morning session and being available when they need something urgent from me, like telling this landlord is on me this thing, what shall I do? Da, 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 da. So now because I've leveraged technology, I don't have to repeat myself every time somebody new joins the program. I only need to be there for the very high level support. 
I could even remove myself completely. I could get my top student who pretty much knows the game inside out to be like, hey, you're the coach now. I'm retiring. And then I remove myself and I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, the business is still running and I'm still making income. Another type of leverage is having a partner, having a business partner, right? So, and I, I'm, and this is what I'm focusing on slowly, slowly, slowly that I may have an idea. I know the idea will work. I know the few clients that I could tap into straight away, but I don't have the time to do this. I don't have the bandwidth. So what's the best thing to do? Let me find a partner who has the relevant skills that are necessary and let me set him up. I'll, uh, you know, I'll set you up and then all you have to do is just run the business. That's another form of, and I could potentially have a hundred businesses maintaining my only three days a week work life through this type of leverage. Mm. You understand? So leverage is absolutely key. Absolutely key. Very, very, very important. And why do I, so for me, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm working. And when I work, bro, it's intense. Every minute is, I've, I've, I've planned out every minute of every hour that I'm working, which is why if you call me on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I probably won't pick up because I'm either in a meeting or I'm doing something important or blah, blah, blah. Thursdays, I'm with my son the whole day. My mom's at work. My wife's at work. They're working in the NHS. Um, alhamdulillah, because uh, I mentioned it a few times in January, I'm retiring my mom, inshallah. And I'm doing it through the business, not through my personal income, through the business. Meaning if something, God forbid, happens to me, she's not going to be stuck. Her income, for as long as that business runs, the income is there, inshallah. So that's another thing to think about. If you want to retire your parents, set up an income stream. Don't retire them through your own income. Friday is a family day which why yesterday it took me a while to respond to you. Saturday, I'm pretty much off. So this is the only bit of work I'm doing today. Sunday, I do a bit of coaching in the morning and the rest is flexible. And I've designed my week based on what I want to do and how I want, how I want to live my life. And that's possible, guys. It's possible only if you are financially independent from the system.